Hi guys, welcome. Um, kind of like tuba guys. Late night here at the moment. Uh, it's way gone midnight here in the UK. Um, I actually ordered some food not long ago and it literally was too full to go to bed. Um, well, that's my excuse anyway. I'm telling the missus. Um, hooked a really nice fish here actually, guys. I've had it on a while now. It must be at least 10 minutes. Could be longer actually. Um, I actually didn't bother having my mic on or my headphones on. So I've had to just get that on into the computer. Um, and yeah, like I said, this could be a good one. I've been, been really trying to get a trophy here. And it has been fishing well. Um, I don't see why I can't land one. But um, I've had a couple of 40s out over the last few days. Just can't get that 50 kilo Russian uh, sturgeon. But um, this one here feels decent. I'm not sure if it's going to make a trophy. But I guess we'll see. It definitely feels... Maybe the best fish I've hooked here so far, but with these fish, if any of you fish here, you know, um, you know that they do fight hard, so it's quite hard to tell. Actually, the the bait I'm on is the mole crickets. With uh, the other two rods are on ropes. Um, they've been actually giving me all the fish, the ropes. Um, what happened was I was looking through my PVA and I had some. PVA bag, big one, as you can see. It said um, Russian sturgeon beluga. I, I don't even know what's in it. I will check after for you guys. And it, I know it's very old. I must have made that a long time ago. And I did, decided to pull it on the rod, and yeah, boom, got a hit on it within five minutes, I think. So, not bad. I'm saying within five minutes. I mean, it wasn't long. Um, that's a bit of a big exaggeration, but it hasn't been long at all. As you can see, I've landed only four fish at the moment. Um, nothing big. This fish does feel ready to land, though. Um, I know I can reel lock and just reel in here, guys, but you've got to be careful. Early I did it, and um, fish was coming in nicely, and then it just went off the hook. So, you do have to be careful doing this. Just about hanged on there. you really got to be careful. I know if the fish is under... 80 kilos, well say 60 kilos I'll probably be alright but you can lose them like that it's funny, as soon as I've plugged my headphones in here guys and my mic in um, the fish just gave up the fight this has actually happened a few times this week I thought oh, I'm on a big fish and then um, ended up not being as big as I thought I'd be shocked if this one ate 40 kilos plus um Tempting fate here, going in, going out the red. Um, like I said, that is how you, exactly how you can lose them. I'd like to see this fish now. I'm getting impatient. Let's have a look. It's not that big, guys. I don't know. I don't think that's going to make 50 kilos. They are hard to land. These fish, guys. You've got to literally drag them into the sand like that and then just reel in and then there we go we've landed that let's land it. it looks decent let's have a look oh it fell short 42 kilos gutted um thought that might have made the trophy decent size though um fishing well here um definitely on for for a few trophies i think this week i think there's definitely a good chance but anyway guys as always um really appreciate you watching this um, actually, before I go, let me keep that and just show you guys the setup. Um, hold on, wrong rod. Um, yeah, this rod here, I'm on the uh, just a standard bait fish rig using ropes. Um, using a really heavy lead, uh, 170 grams, and using the 84 kilo line, making sure we can stop these fish. And on the other rod, where is it? The other rig we're on just a basic bottom fishing rig and I'm fishing um, size 3 hooks here with the mole crickets the PVA that seems to be working actually uh, while well, I'm saying working this is the PVA I found and pull it on what's working today it's the uh, rape seed zebra mussel chop worm nut mixture and the crab and mussel dip actually this is actually the the mix I use all the time actually on here so that's it is my normal mix but I've had a big bag laying around I've, I do think the bigger bags are better actually definitely for the balloonists
But anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching this. And let's see, I've hooked another fish here. Let's see how that is quickly. Let's cast this out for one second. And see, I doubt it's a decent fish, but it has took a bit of line. We're nearly spooled. Let's run, let's run quick. We have nearly run out of line here, guys. We need to lock up that reel. Lock it up fast. This fish has gone running. That fish has run about... The way it's looking is about a mile away. I've got a reel. I, uh, I know the line's slack here, and this is how you lose fish. Um... I've got to take that chance. Let's try and get that line a bit tighter. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's see if we've got a decent... No, I don't think so. I don't think it's decent. I'll land it. Chase it now. It's gone. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Well, there you go, guys. That's what happens here. If you're not watching your rods or you're chatting away, um, you can lose fish really quick. Um... I, I'm not surprised I lost that I got miles away. It wasn't a big one, so it's not a big deal. But anyway, guys, just as I was going to say it, I'll say it now. Thank you for watching this as always, guys. Um, really appreciate that. And if you've got any questions or comments, guys, drop it down on YouTube or message me in-game. Um, a lot of you guys give me a lot, a lot of nice tips. I know I give you guys tips, but a lot of you guys message me as well and say, oh, try this, try that, and help me out as well. So it's all good for the community. It's all helping each other. And until next time, guys, tight lines.